Kate here and I'm back for another Patreon challenge match. This is an 8 board challenge match against one of my Patreon supporters. Uh, all the content that I make uh, is really helped out if people can support me if they can. There's three main ways that you can support me. Uh, number one is just like and subscribe these sorts of videos. It really helps. Uh, the second one is just spread the word. Tell other people that you think might be interested. It really helps getting the word out. And the third one is, if you can help financially, Patreon's a great way to uh, do that. So I'll just give you a quick uh, show of what that is. Um, so you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash bridgefit. I'll post the link uh, below. Um, but basically, if you want to, you can become a patron. And there's a few different rewards. If you can chip in even a dollar, you get a chance to play a, a randomly selected patron match once per month against a patron. Um, if you chip in five dollars or more, you get a chance to get. <laughs> you don't get a chance. You get access to my uh, short daily videos, and if you put in fifteen dollars or more, you get access to all my uh, video, uh, all my lesson videos on BridgeVid. Which, if you go to BridgeVid.com, uh, daily dose videos. This uh, is where you get all the short videos. They range from about a minute and a half up to about five, sometimes ten minutes on it. Um, and I try and put them out four or five times a week and there's a back catalogue of hundreds of videos that you can sort of go through and check out. Uh, with the uh, lesson videos, uh, they've got a database of over a hundred videos um, which if you click featured lessons it'll take you to and uh, again there's uh, basic or intermediate bidding lessons, advanced bidding lessons, card played lessons or uh, sort of sort of miscellaneous skills and we've got over a hundred different types of videos there so that's uh, a few little perks if you are able to become a patron anyway uh, into the patron challenge match uh, this time it's against Andrew Spooner um, he was the lucky winner of uh, this challenge match randomly selected um, which coincided with him being uh, the most recent uh, winner of an Australian national so he won the VCC uh, which was an awesome result for him he's also uh, an Australian junior player on the Australian junior match so I'm looking forward to a, a tough fight here um, he's sent through some notes on uh, what he thought about the hands I haven't looked at them yet but uh, we'll have a look at the end about who won what he thought about the different hands but uh, let's jump into it so here I got a 12 count so I'll just open one club uh, by the way, this is an 8-board imps tournament, so we've got some imps here. Uh, one spade, double, three clubs, mixed raise. So I could bid three hearts here. Um, I feel like that's probably a little bit stronger, like that says 15 to 18. Um, I don't want my partner ever really bidding four hearts. Um, we've only got a 4-4 four, four heart fit. Um, I would bid three hearts on a hand like this if I thought we would actually buy the contract. But here, my part, like, they're going to be bidding three spades over that. So me bidding three hearts is if I want to encourage my partner to bid four hearts, which I, I don't really want to do. Um, my part, uh, this three club bid here shows four card spade support. So my partner's got one spade and something like a triple four one shape. Um, but I'll pass and try and defend. Okay, heart lead. Stone came down with eight points, uh, three of hearts lead, so it looks like my partner does only have a four card suit. So we'll just put in the queen there. Okay. Okay, so West has uh, queen, jack, ten, fifth spade. They got the king of um, king of hearts, so that's six of their points. I could win this and try and switch to. Uh, switch to clubs so Moddy was hey Pete Hollands how's it going thanks for coming in checking out I know I said I'd randomly select Vanessa for this one um, but the random number generator actually did come up with uh, Andrew Spooner but uh, here like West could have ace of diamonds king of hearts queen jack of spades and if I don't switch to clubs now, it might be too late. Um, the question is, do I want to switch to the queen of clubs or a low club? Uh, 
Queen of Clubs. Seems like the natural card to actually play. Um, low Club would... some Like, Low Club, if my partner's got the Ace and not the Ten, like... Uh, I'm just going to go with my gut here and switch to the Queen. Okay. I could have potentially, like, actually played a Diamond. So if my partner had the Ace of Clubs and Ace of Diamonds, I could switch to a Diamond, I could duck it, I could get in, Diamond, Diamond Rough, then push a club through. And that's probably the best way to actually beat this contract. Um, but it's too late for that. Looks like they're going to be making uh, four spades here because no club loses, the diamonds roll on side. And uh, they're just going to take another finesse here. Do they have enough trumps? I believe they've... Oh, they might not have another trump, so... Uh, my partner might have queen, ten of diamonds? No. Okay, minus 170. I don't think that's going to be a bad score. Um, I think that will be a normal score. Um, looking at it... Um, we have a club to lose, two, well, three, three hearts to lose, a club to lose, uh, the diamonds offside, but that can potentially go away. So we're probably only two down in four hearts, but um, yeah, I think three, uh, three spades is just the normal thing. Yeah, Vanessa, I was hoping that the random uh, number generator would um, swing your way, but it popped up with Spooner. I I'm holding... Fingers crossed it'll be you next time. It'll, it'll happen. I know it'll happen. Um, so here I've got just a 13 count with 6-4. I don't need to rebid two spades here. Like, my hand's not strong enough opposite a partner that doesn't want to bid, so I'll just pass and one, sp one spade was enough. Um, even though they bid two spades, like, I could have doubled instead of uh, bidding two spades because I didn't have that room. Um, but 10 of clubs lead not what I was expecting I, I thought my partner would probably lead a spade and there are a lot of hearts missing um, alright so partner could have led a singleton club I meant to put the 9 of diamonds in there I don't think it's going to materially diff make a difference, but um, low club now. Okay, so it's very likely that my partner led a singleton club here and they're trying to create an entry. So is it better for me to hop up with the queen or and take my one club trick, but that lets them uh, get another club club trick? So if I hop up with the queen, uh, all the clubs are good and they have an entry. If I duck, they win, they play a club back, and they get three club tricks without losing any. So should I let them have four club tricks and lose one, or should I let them have three club tricks and not lose any? That That's the, the real competition that I've got here. Um, and do I have, like, they've got five diamonds, three clubs, they've probably got another card somewhere. So if I hop up with the queen, they're going to make it unless we can cash out straight away, uh, which seems tough to do. My partner hasn't bid at all, but West also has um, ace, king of diamonds, and wasn't interested opposite a past partner. So I should have stopped and worked out what sort of point range I think my partner's got, but... Um, If my partner's got the Ace of Hearts, then potentially we have um, two hearts and two spades to cash now, but I can't untangle them. So I'd have to lead like a low spade to my partner, which I don't think is going to work. Um,
So if I duck it, they play a club back. I'm probably going to get in played, maybe. I'll, I'll hop in, get my tricks. Cash two spade winners. King of hearts. Okay, so the ace of hearts was there. So they're always making, and they got the rest of the tricks. I think that was a really interesting spot there to try and work out should I have taken my queen of clubs or not. So they got 10 tricks. Um, so my partner had seven hearts. That's where all the hearts were. Should have uh, taken a bit more time at the start to work out what I actually expected, but um, they had five diamond winners and three clubs and a heart. So it probably was right to duck there. Um, let them get three clubs, five diamonds, and one heart. And we would have got two hearts and two spades. Um, so I think I dropped a trick there by hopping up. Had to not get my queen of clubs by um, ducking. And it, but then they just run all the diamonds. And what happens from there? I'm not sure. Anyway, really interesting position. Moving on to board number three. So I'll start with one spade. Five, five, fourteen count. Three clubs. Invite with six clubs. Well, I want to show my hearts. Okay, we found a heart fit, but not interested in slam with partner having lots of points and clubs. Okay, uh, <laughs> that hand is garbage for me. Um, I guess I had to pass three clubs. We might, we might make uh, here. Um, we've got three diamond losers. I've got three spade losers that I have to deal with, and a heart, heart loser. But we'll start with three rounds of diamonds. So... Oh, I guess I take the finesse. It's weird that they're offering me the finesse there. Um, but I don't see anything better. Alright, so our hearts 3 2. Yeah. Okay, so we can just cross over. Hearts are drawn, and we got the rest of the tricks, but down one there. I reckon that one will be flat. I think he probably would have bid the same way. Um, like, I could have considered hopping up and playing for Singleton, King of Hearts. That seems pretty far fetched, so I think just taking the finesse was the way to go. On to board number four. So here we've got 10, 14 high card points, diamond pass, heart. I've got both black suits, so I can make a takeout double. Two hearts, three hearts. Um, okay. And right there. So I meet a lead. This looks like a pretty interesting lead problem. So I've got king, queen, third heart, which is either one or two tricks. I've got the ace of clubs. I don't really want to lead away from ace of clubs. King fourth spade is an interesting position. Um, dummy's got a minimum sort of 12, 13 points. Um, East has 11, 12. So 14 plus 11 plus 12. So 23 plus 14 is. So I'm expecting my partner to have about three points. So if my partner's got three points, I want to get, say, two hearts. I want to get the ace of clubs. A spade lead could be into the ace queen. Um, a diamond lead's probably the most passive. Um, but the spade lead seemed like the most normal lead to me. I'm going to go with the spade lead here. Okay, that, that worked out miserably. Oh, actually, maybe not. My, my partner might not have... Um, like, if my partner's got the jack of spades, I've blown a trick. But if East has queen jack of spades, it's all okay. This is bridge not counting, said Vanessa. Alright, so I got two hearts and a club. Um, I could continue with spades because if I've already blown a trick, it's alright. Although if East has queen third, I'd blow another trick by continuing it. 
Diamond lead is passive. I could play my partner for the uh, club and play like club to the king, club to the ace. I'm just going to take the passive approach and switch to a diamond. Okay, so we're in with a heart here. So um, if and East only has four hearts. So if East has queen, third, spade, queen of clubs, four hearts. So they've got maybe two spades, three diamonds, two or three diamonds, two hearts. I don't feel like I'm in a rush here. I will just play another diamond. Okay, so they've got four hearts. So I think they're a triple four one shape. Um because they've only got four card hearts. They could have a five card club suit. That was weird. Um, so my partner's got queen jack of diamonds. No, queen of diamonds. So East has Queen Jack of Spades. I can go Ace of Clubs Club. Or they are the triple four one. They've got three clubs left. They'll be able to rough one. Or ditch one, lose one. I think letting them discard the club here is fine. Uh, there's no way that's from Queen Jack Fourth. Uh, so, uh, king, queen, ten. So, duck the club to my partner. And they lead a diamond, which we win. That was a pretty cool end position. And they cross rough the uh, last two stuff. Me, Jester. I'll have to watch your stuff li later. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Hope you enjoyed it. But, uh, beating three hearts, one trick. I reckon that was pretty decent defense. They were cold. Um, the spade lead didn't give anything away. The diamonds continuation was what we needed to do. East was a uh, triple four one there. Uh, Ten count. So, Majester, I've just started playing bridge myself. Less than a year into it, but it's seven ten a.m. Good night all. <laughs> seven ten. It's a interesting time to be going to bed. I'm usually well asleep at seven ten, but. Uh, Going to bed is pushing it, but uh, thanks for coming along. Anyway, uh, board number five here, we've got uh, 11 high card points, so I'll just uh, open a club, good club suit, diamond, a heart, three clubs. Again, I'm not going to... Here the opponents are doing lots of bidding, and I've just been bowing out. Have we... we've declared... have we declared any hands? I played four hearts down one. But uh, uh, Queen of Spades lead. Okay, so my partner's got a Doubleton Spade, and I've got a 4-4 four, four Spade fit that they missed. My partner's got some hearts. Uh, lefty's got uh, five plus diamonds and four spades. Probably three hearts and one club, because otherwise my partner would have six hearts or something and didn't preempt. Uh, diamond to the 10. Okay, so West had five diamonds, so we'll win there. Uh, I'll cash a club. The, cut, the tricks aren't going anywhere, so I don't need to switch to a heart. So if that's the case, I'll just cash the king of clubs. All right, so again, I don't need to open up. Uh, spades or hearts for them I can just exit safely with a spade they'll have to play uh, like they could have two hearts but I'll make them guess yeah and we uh, beat it one trick So, uh, how do I think I'm going? Three diamonds plus one. I think that was decent defense. Uh, 
they're always down one there. Oh, actually, they could have made on the uh, Queen of Spades lead. But we can get two clubs, two hearts. Ah, oh, they can guess the spades. Queen, king, and then finesse the other way. Um, not that they're really ever going to do that. I think this is a really flat set so far. But interesting as uh, card play hands. Anyway, uh, board number six here, we've got 14 high card points, 6-4. So I'll start with a spade. Spade, double, two no trumps. Game forcing with a raise. Okay, can I show a club shortage? Really, all my bids at the three level are minimum hands and showing a, are their game tries. I can bid four clubs, splinter, four diamonds, biddable diamonds and 11... This is absolute garbage methods here. Um, okay, so what do I need for my partner to be making slam? So if my partner's got king of diamonds, ace king of hearts, and the queen of spades. So that's like a 12 count, which slams just like super easy to play. So uh, I want to do something, but these methods are just absolute trash. Um, I guess I'll bid uh, I'll just bid four spades like <laughs> I can't splinter I don't want to bid four diamonds biddable diamonds um, good news my partner's hands garbage and they start off with a spade lead which might mean that uh, I've got some issues here I've got two heart losers a club loser three diamond losers and they're drawing trumps on me. We've got 10 in dummy opposite, 14 in my hand, so there's 16 points missing. West has the vast majority of them. I can try and guess hearts. I could lead a club up to try and um, uh, just guess clubs or sneak a club through. I can try and rough some diamonds, but I think I need to start by leading a club up. Um, just because uh, I need communication between the hands. This also sets me up to discard uh, one on the clubs. So I can discard one. I can discard one diamond on the club. I can try and rough two. The king of hearts is uh, good for another one. Okay, so I don't want the free finesse because if that fails, they might rough my king later. Um, I also don't want them discarding much. My queen eight of spades are really good too. So, but we'll play diamond to the ace, rough a diamond. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll cash the king of hearts. And I'll trump a heart. And rough that. And uh, my ace jack nine of spades are all good. So, we got the rest. So, making 11... Probably another flat board. But that was like... Those methods were terrible after a spade double two no trumps. Nothing showed any points. I could jump to show a biddable suit. It was... That was... I, like if I bid at the three level, I was 12, 13 with a feature or something. It was... That were disgustingly bad methods. Uh, 10, 13 high card points. 5, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2. Um, open a diamond. Hearts, so oh, I'll just bid my spades. Two clubs. Right. They lied to me. Their description says four plus diamonds, four plus hearts. They totally don't have that. Um, I feel like, I, I like only bidding a spade here with unbalanced hands, so I'm not upset that my partner bid this way, but uh, two diamonds. We've got a diamond loser. We've got lots of spade losers. Uh, we've got two club losers. We've got a heart loser as well. West is a hand that couldn't overcall over one diamond, but backed back in it a little bit later. So they've probably got the ace queen of clubs and not too much else. They might have the king of hearts, maybe a 10 count. Um, but I'm going to duck here. Uh, I'm fairly sure Ace has the uh, King Queen of Spades, but I'm not too afraid of if they. Um... Oh wow, he didn't switch to a club. 
Okay, so they won't switch away from the King of Hearts there. That would be just, like, really strange. So West does have Ace, Queen of Clubs, King of Hearts. East will have King, Queen of Spades and the Ace of Diamonds. Um, I want to draw Trumps quickly. We'll go up with the Ace of Hearts and later Diamond. Wasn't expecting that to win. Okay, I am now thoroughly confused. Ah, oh, they don't have the Ace of Clubs. Right. Okay, uh, so... They've got Queen of Clubs, King of Hearts, Ace of Diamonds. Um, so I've drawn the trump. Um, could lead a heart up. I think I'm going to lose a heart and a spade at this stage. So making two, that was a weird hand. Not what I like. I thought I knew everything and, and just like all fell away there. Um, and then I was like, ah, oh, Ace of Diamonds is there. I don't think I can make any more. Yeah, two's the limit. So two diamonds making two. Um, I can't make, well, can I make a no trump? Club to the ace club. Um, I get. I'd get one club trick, one heart, four... Di yeah, so I make one no trump, I make two diamonds. So, again, another flat board. One to go. Um, and three passes to me. So, easy one no trump. Three no. Okay, this will be the decider, I'm hoping. <laughs> or not. Uh, okay, um, so we've got... I don't want them to switch to a heart. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, I've got three spades, uh, four diamonds, and a club. Again, I still really don't want them to switch to a heart. Uh, wow, West led a diamond from a three-card suit, and East shifted to a spade, which they didn't like. So the easy way here is just to take a club finesse. Uh, I'm hopping up with the ace of spades. So I could run my diamonds and uh, see what happens. But then I don't want to commit to taking a club finesse then because they would have shown their signals. I could shift to a, a club, like just play a, a club now. Um, like firstly, there is the option that East has the ace of um, hearts. I don't think East will have the Ace of Hearts, Ace of Diamonds, and King of Clubs, although the robots don't open every 11 count. Um, yeah, let's just finesse. Whew! Okay. Well, well let's finesse again. Alright, the finesse is working. Um, and there's a spade discard. So I'm going to play a diamond over and uh, finesse again and basically I'm going to see if I can squeeze someone out of uh, the long spade and the ace of hearts I don't need to count anything because this is bridge um, you don't need to I do need to unblock my king of diamonds earlier <laughs> um, I wanted to be there to uh, just cast a diamond and then try and squeeze them to see if they've got um, a heart or a spade. But yeah, here, if I was paying any attention whatsoever at this stage, I'd play a diamond, and if I didn't see the ace of hearts, um, I would just throw the king of hearts away, and then I'd see if the uh, spades are, are good. And I think the spades might be good. No. 
<laughs> Probably lose by uh, one imp there. <laughs> Undo. <laughs> Too much talking. All right. So that that was um, the challenge match against uh, Andrew Spooner. Um, really interesting hands, which I think most of them will be turn out super flat. I reckon he's pipped me by at least one imp um, on that final board. Um, how do we go? No, I won. I won. I won 11 to 2. I did dump an imp on that uh, last board, and I did dump an imp on board 2. But we won on board 4 and board uh, 5. So let's check this out. Um, okay, let's see what he did. Um, okay, same option. Spade lead. They won. Heart, he won. And continued another spade. They finessed again. Another heart. He's going to get end played. Uh, he could have played the king of spades at that point. He had the exit card of the king of spades. So, uh, I think he gave the trick away there. Could a king of spades, they're rough, and they have to lead a club up, so... Um, sloppy play there. Um, got him. He, he, let's check out what his notes say. So, board one. Bidding, not much to say. I have a one club opening, and not enough stuff to take any other actions. So, let, let's, let's double check. Check him on this. Um... Yeah. Like, it's interesting to think, do you consider bidding three hearts here? But there's really no upshot when you know they're going to be bidding three spades. It's really about, do, do you want to be bidding four hearts or not? Okay, uh, board number two. Um, ah, sorry, play there, 20. We'll move on to board number two. Uh Bidding, it looks like partner had a pretty bad hand. They appear to have heart length, but have not doubled or bid two hearts or two spades. Bidding three spades looked too risky, so I chose to double in the second round and pass on the third. Yeah, I think there's where I just passed on the uh, second round. Um, no. Why did I close that? Yeah, so here, one spade, two diamonds, pass two spades, double. Yeah, so I didn't really see much upshot in doubling here. I think double would probably be a stronger hand. Um, like if partner doesn't want to bid, I don't really want to try and come in on this auction or tell the opponents I've got six spades. So here I just thought I would uh, pass through up. Not that it made any difference. Oh, partner led the spade queen. So... Queen of spades, he overtook, cashed the ace of spades in case it was a singleton. Kept going with the ten of spades. They ditched a club. Two diamond, a uh, diamond, and they won the nine. Whoa, what? Okay, so that's where the extra trick came from. Is it? Two spades, a club, and a diamond. That was a pretty weird play. Did he mention it? So this made me think that partner had the ace or king of diamonds, so I can just... Seems like partner would need to have a heart on it, so I played the king of hearts. Declare a one, drew trumps, and took a club finesse to me. Um, basically then forced them to win. Anyway, um, yeah, so I think the main difference there was choosing whether to double or not. Um... On to board number three, also a flat board. Uh, yeah, he chose three hearts over this. King of diamonds. Did he take the heart finesse is the real question. Yeah, and he took the heart finesse. Okay, board four we've looked at. Board five, I also won four imps. Okay, so what's he say about board five? Bidding, like on board two, I didn't really want to bid a second time, so I doubled to show my great club suit. 
One club. Yeah, so here I didn't feel like I needed to double. Like, I've already shown clubs. Here I feel like if I bid again, I should be showing a better hand than what I've got. Um, partner's already going to lead the clubs. I feel like we're not going to win the auction very often. So spots like this where I don't feel like I need to um, show... I feel like I'm telling more to Declara than to my partner. Um, my partner should be leading my suit usually, so I don't feel like I need to double to tell him, hey, lead my suit, I've already told you to lead. Um, but here, uh, club lead to the king, cash the ace of clubs, nine of hearts switch, and partner then switch to a spade. Okay, so... Uh, they switched to a low spade, which really um, cost them. As a side point, he doubled. He got the club lead he wanted. My partner led doubled and queen of spades, which is not what I wanted. Um, but nine of hearts, which is really, really good here, I think. Like, once they put up the king, means that their ten of hearts didn't set up for a trick. Um, technically, I think you just have to be super passive and just, like, uh, exit... Diamond, so like a club, club, diamond, exit a diamond. If they play a heart, I think you haven't uh, ruined the heart suit yet. Um, but partner spade switch there was not good. And then, uh, so that was that for board five. Board six and seven, they both seemed pretty flat. And then board eight, let's double check if he managed to block the diamond suit like I did. So diamond to the ace, switch to the eight of spades, he hopped up. Nine of clubs, jack of clubs. So he played the nine to stay in his hand. So finesse, cash the ace of clubs, ditching a heart. So if you wanted to play the squeeze, this is how you should play the squeeze. Um, cash the diamond. And at this stage, east is the only one guarding spades. And they get to play the uh, fifth diamond. And when you don't see the ace of hearts, you discard the king of hearts. No counting required. Just make sure you don't block the diamond suit. And then, uh, yeah. He made 11 tricks for a well-earned imp there. Anyway, uh, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this patron challenge match. Um, if you want to support me, please check out my patron. Um, patreon.com forward slash bridge vid um, it's a great way for supporting me um, any little bit really really helps um, it gives you some access to some extra private content well some extra content um, if you pledge five dollars or more a month you get access to some short daily videos and if you go fifteen dollars or more a month you get uh, all my teaching videos over a hundred of them uh, in the uh, featured lessons segment there Anyway, thanks all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.